hello again so in this video you will learn how to draw uh, the diagram uh, so to simulate the algorithm of last laxity first okay so some others call this uh, this algorithm by uh, least slack time LST okay so <clears throat> To, to do this, uh, to, to clarify this algorithm, I will use an example, okay? So, in this example, I have three processes, okay? T1, T2, and T3, okay? And I assume that all of the processes are arrived in the time zero, okay? So, all the, the processes are arrived in this time, okay? So... <clears throat> so each process has its period okay so for example t2 has five time units as period okay so so that's t1 and that's t2 and that's t3 okay so t2 has five units as period so that's a period from 0 to 5 and from 5 to 10 and from 10 to 15 and from 15 to 20 okay so excuse me i forget uh, we can we can we can draw this algorithm in just 20 units of time because the LCM of 20 and 5 and 10 is equal 20 okay so we can use milestone of 20 units to draw this algorithm okay so <clears throat> So for T3, T3 has uh, a 10 units as period. So it has a period from 0 to 10 and one other period from 10 to 20. Okay, so T1 has one period 20. So it's, it can be from zero to 20 okay so that's the deadline okay they represent the deadlines okay so for example t1 has a deadline of seven units of time okay so from so it from zero to seven okay seven and uh, t2 has four units of time as deadline so it has a deadline from zero to four and from five to nine and from 10 to 14 and from 15 to 19 okay so that's four and that four units because four minus zero equal, equal four and that's four units because 9 minus 5 is equal 4 also and so on okay so t3 has 8 units of time as deadline so that's deadline from 0 to 8 and from 10 to 18 okay so c represent the type of execution okay so in each period for example t2 in each period of five it must execute two time okay it's it must use the processor uh, of two units of time okay so for example in this period it must execute it must use the processor for two units of time and for this period and so and this period also and this period also the same for t3 okay 
it must use the processor for two units of time from 0 to 10 and from 10 to 20 and T1 must use the processor of for three units of time from 0 to 20 okay so that's it <coughs> So to draw the, the, the last laxity first algorithm, you must follow, so follow this, that's the idea, so LT is equal DT minus CT, where T is represent the time, okay? So zero and one and two and three and so on. Okay, so dt is represent the time between the closest deadline and the current time. Okay, so c represent the the remaining time of execution. Okay in the time t i will clarify this idea so in the execution for example in the time t equals zero we have t1 t2 and t3 okay so so the process t1 and t2 and the process t3 i mean okay so in this case Lt of t1 is equal dt. So dt is is the difference or distance between between the current time zero and the near deadline. So that's seven. So that's seven minus zero. So it's equal seven. Okay. Ct is the remaining time of execution. So. Uh, that's the three okay so so it means that in the in the time zero t1 need to execute three units of time okay so for t2 the lt the laxity in zero so that's zero okay is equal so the dt so the distance between the current time and the nearest deadline so that's four four minus zero is equal four okay and the ct so the remaining time of execution so the t2 executed must ex need to execute two units of time so it's two okay for t3 t3 in l0 is equal the t distance between the current type so the zero and the nearest deadline so eight okay so this distance is equal eight minus the remaining time of execution that's two okay so and this equal seven minus three is equal four and 4 minus 2 is equal 2 and 8 minus 2 is equal 6 so that's the lowest value okay so we can execute t2 okay so from 0 to 1 we can execute one unit of t2 okay so that's for the t0 okay in t1 so the laxity uh, of the, the laxity in the time one for the process t1 we have the dt so the distance between the nearest deadline we have seven here okay and one 
so between the distance between one and seven is equal six okay so six minus the remaining time of execution is equal three okay and this equal three okay so for the process t2 so the distance between the current time and the nearest deadline is equal three so from one to four okay that's four okay so this equal three okay so minus the remaining time of execution so the capacity of t2 is two but but t2 had executed one unit here so that's it remain one unit of time okay so that's one and this equal two <clears throat> 43 in the time one so distance between one between one and the nearest deadline equal eight so that's seven okay seven minutes the remaining time of execution that's two okay so and this equal five so the lowest value is this so we can execute t2 okay so that's t2 okay so <coughs> So for t equal to the laxity two, t two laxity two is equal. So here we can see that t two didn't need or doesn't need to execute any unit in time because it had finished its two units of time here okay so that's the uh, t2 is not ready to execute okay so we can we can compare between t1 and t3 okay so laxity in t2 is equal so dt so distance between the nearest deadline and the current time so seven minutes two so it's five remaining the remaining time of is execution for t1 is equal three okay so and this equal two okay for t3 we have the distance between the current time two and the nearest deadline is equal six because 8 minus 2 is equal 6 so that's 6 minus the capacity so the remaining time of execution and this equal 2 so that's 2 6 minus 2 is equal 4 so that's the lowest value so we can execute t1 okay from 2 to 3 okay <clears throat> in the time 3 In the time three, so the, the dt is equal for t one is equal seven minus three, so it's equal four. Okay, so the remaining time of its execution we have three minus one okay so that's two okay so for t3 we have the distance between eight and between three and eight is equal five minus the remaining time of execution is equal to okay so four minus two two five minus two is Three. okay so we can execute t1 because that's the lowest value okay 
so from three to four we execute two one t one okay forty four forty four we have the the dt of t1 is equal so distance between 4 and 7 is equal 3 okay so the remaining time of execution is equal 3 minutes 2 okay so that's 1 and this equal 2 okay so t2 is not ready okay so because it finished it had finished its two unit time of execution in this period okay so 43 we have we are then in the time four okay so the dt is equal the distance between four and eight and that's equal four okay so the 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 ct so the capacity in four we have two okay so four minus two and this equal two okay so in this case in this case uh, you can execute t1 or t3 but the priority goes to the the process that e that that this process in the execution okay so t t1 is in the execution okay so we can prefer to to execute t1 okay so that's it so we execute t1 from four to five okay so that's it So in the time five, so T1, the capacity of T1 is the three, and T1 had executed its its capacity, its time of execution in this period. Okay, so T1 uh, won't need to execute any other unit of time okay so we can raise it okay so for t2 and t1 so in the time 5 okay in the time 5 we have dt in 5 for t2 is equal from 5 to 9 is equal 4 okay and the remaining time of execution is two because it's a new period okay so and this equal two okay for l uh, for t3 the process t3 so the distance between five and the nearest deadline is eight so the distance between five and eight is equal three okay and the remaining time of execution is equal to because it had not executed any unit time execution okay so and this equal one so we must execute t3 because one is less than two so we can execute t3 between six five and six okay so in the time six in the time six <coughs> we have dt for t2 is equal so the distance between six and nine is equal three and the remaining time is two okay and this equal one okay so for t3 we have the dt in the time six is equal 
the distance between 6 and 8 is equal to okay and the remaining time is equal to minus 1 okay so that's 1 and this equal 1 okay so 1 is equal 1 so the laxity of these two process in the time 6 is are, are equal okay is equal so we can execute or we must execute the process that currently in the execution okay so we must execute t3 okay between 6 and 7 okay in the time 7 in the time 7 we have only t2 is ready okay because because t3 had finished its two units of time in this period okay okay so because the capacity of t3 is two okay and t1 also it finished its capacity okay from the period 20 from 0 to 20 okay so we can execute just t2 okay so from 7 to 8 and from 8 to 9 also only t2 is ready okay so we can execute it from 8 to 9 okay so from 9 to 10 from ten, 9 to 10 any process is ready okay so from 10 to 11 so the process t1 and that's the process t2 from 10 to 11 we have dt of t2 is the distance equal the distance between 10 and 14 okay so that's 4 is equal 4 and the remaining time of the execution is equal to and that's equal to okay the laxity of t2 in the time 10 is equal the remaining uh, the the distance between the the new revolves so that's the new period so from 10 to it's <laughs> the distance between ten, uh, 10 and the nearest uh, deadline so from 10 to 18 so that's 8 and the remaining time of execution in this period is equal to so 8 minus 2 is equal 6 so we must execute t1 okay so t1 from 10 to 11 okay so in the time 11 The distance between 11 and 14 is equal 3 and the remaining time of execution is equal oh that's so we said the, the distance so the, the, the capacity or the remaining time of execution of t2 so that's t2 and this t3 okay so the the remaining time of, of execution is two minus one okay so that's one and this equal two so the dt of t3 in the time 11 is equal the distance between 11 and 18 okay so that's seven so the remaining time is two and this equal five so we must execute t2 okay from 11 to 12 so in the time 12 <coughs> in the time 12 
uh, dt is equal distance between so the, in the time 12 only t3 is ready okay because teacher had finished its capacity its time of execution in this period okay this period between 10 and 15 okay so only t3 is ready so we must execute uh, t3 between 12 and 13 okay so and uh, from 13 to 14 also only t3 is ready okay so we can execute it here okay so from 14 to uh, to 15 any process are ready okay uh, any process is ready okay so from 15 to 16 only t2 is ready okay so we can execute it we must execute it and from 16 to 17 only t2 is ready okay so that's it okay i hope that you that you understand the the, the general idea of the algorithm uh, least laxity first so uh, i hope that you like my video and see you later